Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. In this episode, I am going to discuss yet another feature of Lambdas in C++. And now, as I've stated before, if you understand everything about Lambdas, you understand virtually everything there is to know about C++, or at least all of the things that matter in our day-to-day -day programs, I would say. Now, in this episode, I'm going to demonstrate something that may seem a little odd at first, but I will uh, explain as we go along. Now, I'm going to create a variadic template function. And I don't have a good name for what these template parameters are so far, but uh, this is a start of a variadic template function. Now, I've got, say, something that's callable. Let's go ahead and add a callable here. And let's give this a smarter name now. So I want to return a new lambda that has bound these parameters to this callable thing, but hasn't actually called it yet. And we can do that. We can create a lambda, and we can give it no parameters. And we can say we want to, we need actually the callable here. Now, this isn't going to compile because, as it says here, callable is not captured and the params are not captured. So I can do this. I can do this equals, and I'm saying capture all of these things by value, make copies of them. And uh, I can demonstrate how this function might work so that this makes some sense. So at this moment, in between lines 18 and 20, we have this lazy function here. It's called bound. And it's not actually going to execute the summation until we call the function like this, because this is a lambda that was returned to us. So we have given it the function that we want to bind and a couple of values that we want to bind to. Now this is a far stretch from being an implementation of standard bind or something like that, but it does give us uh, some of the basis for how something like this might work. So if we were to only give it one parameter, then we're going to get a compile time error because too few functions were passed to it. To, too few parameters were passed to the function, that is. So this works. It returns three as we expect. But we might be concerned about a couple of things. And that, for integers, this doesn't matter. But if this was some other type, we are taking these all by value, and then we are copying them into the lambda. So we're potentially making two copies of each parameter just to bind it. That's definitely not something that we would prefer to do. So we think, well, Perhaps what we should do here for following the rules that say that if you know that you want a copy of a thing to take it by value and then move it into place, we're left to the question of how to move it. And we can do our this. And we're taking the callable and we're moving it into our local capture. This is a generalized capture expression. This was added in C++14. But we don't have the params. And so how, how do we capture these parameters? Uh, we might want to you know, do something like this, but then we have an unexpanded parameter pack. And so we might try to expand it like this, but then we're going to get some other error. This isn't valid syntax here, and we just don't know what to do here to try to efficiently get these things in. So what we added in C++, no, not we, what they have added in C++20 is the ability to do this parameter pack expansion inside a generalized Lambda capture. So we can do that. 
And the syntax looks a little weird, I have to fully admit. So we're doing this dot 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 here, we're expanding the params, and this does what we expect it to do. And I still feel like personally reading this code, I'm like, is this really doing what I think that it's doing? So I can do this, I can actually rename this set of parameters and we can see that this is now no longer compiling and I can do this. And this is done the exact same thing, it's just not aliasing uh, the name here or shadowing the name or however you want to call it, although neither of these things would ever actually give you a warning because we're creating these names in a completely new scope of the Lambda. So. This is the feature from C20 that I want to mention. It is specifically this the ability to do parameter pack expansions inside of Lambda captures. And this is, a, again, just one of these little holes that is helping to make C20 better and, in many ways, making the language more consistent. We can do the same things more consistently and more contexts with C20. I feel like that is the main thing that this language is uh, update to the language for C20 is really giving us. So uh, that's, a, like I said, probably won't come up in your day-to-day -day code, but I found it interesting nonetheless, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of C++ Weekly.